if you're traveling with your hedgehog, there are some things that you want to take into consideration as well. What is the nature of your hedgehog? Does your hedgehog stay sleeping when you're going on short trips and things like that? Our peekaboo bag is a pretty inconspicuous way of taking your hedgehog in places because you certainly don't want to leave your hedgehog in the car where it can get too hot or too cold. Um, so a peekaboo bag, hedgehog fits in, it has a zipper, and it has a handy dandy little screen. I am a uh, don't ask, don't tell kind of person. I'll take my hedgehogs with me um, and not have them out and about, but keep them fairly consistent conspicuous and usually no one even notices that I have a hedgehog with me. So another way to travel is if your hedgehog gets restless or you want a little bit more stable uh, cage. So if say you're going to a, the veterinary office and your hedgehog is sick, you can use a small animal carrier like this. I do suggest having a sleeping bag in your cage just to make your hedgehog more comfortable while it's traveling. If you're going on longer distances, a carrier will work well in between places while you're traveling. But I have used this type of carrier for years. Uh, I use them when I'm traveling because I have made a small hole. I can attach a water bottle. I have a food dish. A couple things that I'm required to do because I am USDA licensed is it has these obvious marks on them, live animals. I have to have an arrow up the bottom rows I have to have secure so that I nobody can stick their finger in but this is a carrier that uh, I have used for years and years if there's just a couple of animals in here and I'm on a quick delivery trip or something like that and they're babies I will just put the water bottle on the outside the food dish on the inside some comfy bedding and keep them in a place where it's really warm other people might find it's convenient to take the whole cage or a smaller travel cage. Make sure you take with you your food that you're using, some water from your house that it's used to drinking, some comfortable bedding. If you're using fleece, you wanna take extra fleece blankets and then a way to keep your hedgehog warm. Uh, one idea that people use is they'll take extra fleece blankets, put the fleece in the bottom of a bathtub so the hedgehog has plenty of safe playroom one consideration when you are traveling in hotels that I have found is that the bathrooms are a lot cooler than the actual room temperature. So what I do is I take a small ceramic heat, heat emitter uh, heater and I plug that in in the bathroom and set that on low and then I can monitor the temperature throughout the day and then the evening. I do wake up a couple times during the night and check on it just to make it it's it's okay. It's generally safer to have it too warm than to have it drop to say 68 and be a little too cool for your hedgehog. So those are some, uh, uh, some ways to make your hedgehog safe when it's traveling. Don't forget temperature, don't forget food and water and something comfy for your hedgehog to be in while you're actually traveling. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click for notifications on our future videos.